Next, we'll talk about our vertical intercept. And a vertical intercept is the point where our line crosses the vertical axis or the y-axis. So it's about right here in the line that we have graphed. Technically, it's the value of your output, or y-value, when the input, or x, is zero. And in the general form of our equation, where y equals mx plus b, the vertical intercept is represented by the b. And then we can write it as an ordered pair of zero comma b, or we find the value of y when x is zero. Well, so let's go back to the points we already discussed off on the right here. We already know that the slope, which equals change in y over change in x, is 3 halves. So we know y goes up three values every time x goes up two values. And we do have the point 1 comma 0. But we want to figure out what point we get when x has a value of 0. This means we need to go backwards one unit in the x's. So let's look at this rate of change idea again. If y goes up three units every time x increases by two, that also means that y goes up 1.5 units every time x increases by one. So to go backwards, we're going backwards by one in our x's, so we go down by 1.5 in our y meaning this equation has a vertical intercept of negative 1.5. That's where we cross the vertical or the y-axis. So the equation for this line, where we have y equals mx plus b, would be y equals 3 halves x minus 1.5, or you can write it as y equals 1.5x minus 1.5, or y equals 3 halves x minus 3 halves. All three of these are correct. Well, what we went through here was actually the steps to finding a linear equation. So let's actually write out what those steps are. Your first step is to find the slope. Sometimes the slope will just be given to you. But more often than not, you'll be given two points, and you use the equation of m equals change in y over change in x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, to find the slope. Our second step is to find the vertical intercept. Now you can think through it like we did above, or you can just plug it into the equation. For example, if you already know that, say, you have a slope of 2 and that your equation will pass through the point 2, 1, you can plug these, actually let's change this point to 3, 1 so we have different numbers. You can plug these values into your equation and solve for b. So we find that b equals negative 5, meaning the equation would be y equals 2x minus 5. This will probably be clearer if we have a fully worked out example. So let's look at example 1. In this example, you are given two points, and we want to find the equation of the line that passes through those two points. If you think you can, go ahead, try to work it out yourself. If not, you're more than welcome to work it out with me.